Hi, my gorgeous, gorgeous girls. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Shamir. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in with me today. So today was actually, well, this vlog was actually supposed to happen a weekend vlog, but today's Sunday, so the weekend has passed. So it's not quite going to be a full weekend vlog. Um, Maddox is not home right now. He actually left yesterday with my mom. So that did give me a bit of free time. But yesterday I literally just worked the whole day, was editing um, a couple videos for you guys and doing working on some other things that I needed to get done. So yesterday was all work. Today is going to be all play. Um, I'm actually heading out right now to brunch with a girlfriend. We're going to head to Castaway, which I believe is in Burbank. I've been wanting to go there for quite a while now. Just you guys know, I just don't have the time to really go out. So I'm so excited about going out today. So yeah, my hair is done, makeup's done. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my perfume of the day, which I believe is gonna be Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And then I'm also gonna pair that with the body oil as well. Since it is springtime, you guys know it's very hot outside. I believe it's about 84 today. Okay, so today we're doing the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I haven't really worn this perfume much. I think I've probably worn it once or twice. I don't get a lot of use out of my perfumes because honestly, I go to like the same ones all the time. And pretty much it's just, I go with my perfumes based off of like how I feel. Um, but I'm feeling very spring. I'm going to brunch. I'm going to be in the hills. It's going to be a breeze, but it's still warm outside. So I feel like this is the perfect scent. And then, like I said, I'm going to pair that with the body oil, which, you guys, I have not even opened this yet. And I've had it for months now. So we're going to just put on a bit of this. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look at that shimmer. Oh, my brother's calling me. Hey, babe. So here's the full outfit of the day. The outfit is from Fashion Nova. The shoes are from Ego Official. Um, I really like this set. It's like that scrunchy material, but not like overly scrunchy. You can barely tell it's even scrunchy in here. And it does have the splits, but I love that the splits are in the inside instead of on the outside of the pan leg. That just looks so much better to me. And then I'm wearing all of my everyday jewelry and then also my same everyday bag so just a plain all black fit i swear it feels so weird not to have a stroller and a car seat in the car i definitely need to invest in a car mount for my um, camera because me and this tripod and me trying to balance it while i'm driving is it's doing the most um but i'm on my way to the restaurant right now i'm kind of mad because my plan wow train tracks um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear like the camera rattling. It's sitting on my tripod and of course it's not like sturdy. But I'm on my way to the restaurant right now and um, just go ahead and hop over because I know you're gonna do something stupid. But yeah, I'm on my way to the restaurant right now and I'm kind of mad because I definitely wanted to stop by, well I wanted to go to the car wash today because, let me close this there, it's kind of loud. You guys, I haven't gotten my car wash since I bought it, and I didn't tell you guys. I gotta just go, cause yeah. But I didn't tell you guys I have got a new car last year in November, like a week or two before Thanksgiving. I haven't gotten my car wash since I've gotten it. Um, I did take it back to the dealership once, and so they did wash it again for me. But besides that, I have not gotten my car washed, which is terrible. But at the same time, my car does not look bad because I park it in the garage. So, and you guys know I barely drive. Um, so it's not like filthy, filthy, but I mean, it's dirty enough. So I really wanted to get a car wash today, but I really don't have time because, like I said, reservation is at 4 p.m. And it's literally... It's 3.30 and I'm gonna make it, um, GPS says I'm gonna make it there at 3.57. So, is my camera moving as I'm driving? Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna have time to stop to get a car wash.
guys so it's the very next day and i feel good i honestly was not drunk last night um i did have a headache but i had a headache before i even started drinking like once i made it to lunch i don't know why but i had a headache so that headache stayed with me all the way until i made it home last night and i didn't make it in until like 5 a.m um and i took i either took Advil or tylenol i don't remember which one no one had anything with them last night so so when I got home, I took that and I went straight to bed because like the headache was massive, like it was terrible. Um, but it's 12, 15 right now. I'm actually about to go and uh, pick up Maddox from my mom's house. She ended up keeping him over the night, which I'm so happy she did because with the headache that I had, no. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to head out to pick him up. I think I'm gonna also maybe stop by the store. Maddox doesn't really have many shorts. So I think on our way home, I may stop by um, the store and pick him up like maybe two more pairs of shorts. Most of the new clothes he's recently got have all been pants. And then like Christmas shopping, when I did like most of his Christmas shopping, most of that stuff was like crew necks, like, you know, sweatshirts and, either like uh, jogger set and jeans like pants of course so he for sure needs shorts and i mean it's about to be summertime anyways hey you guys so i'm in walmart they have so many summer clothes in for the kids they have like denim shorts like that and then what else did they have like they also come in like you know khaki colors yeah maddox found him a few things <laughs> you found a few things boo boo yeah so i also picked up think about like maybe these as well and then they have like you know the cotton ones which he actually has on a pair of these right now in like a blue color but they have these and the camo they literally have like oh, i don't think i saw this gray color did i I don't know, I feel like they even have like, you know, the gray denim ones. So they have everything. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get him any, actually he does need t-shirts as well because he doesn't really have that many short sleeve shirts, but I'm not really feeling so much of like all the graphics and stuff. So I'm gonna probably look for him more like plain colored, sh um, plain like shirts without all the graphics on them. But if you guys need like summer clothes that are inexpensive, come to Walmart because these are like shorts he can go outside and play in. And I wouldn't even care about him messing it, messing them up because they're so inexpensive. Um, yeah, because he's gonna start being outside a lot more since it is hot now. Um, and you know, he's one now, so I'm not as like cautious with him. They even have these shorts with prints on them. These are cute. Not really my style for Maddox, but they're cute. So I'm gonna just quickly show you guys a few things that I picked up from Maddox today. Um, I told you guys he needed shorts because it's super hot. I have just bought him a new pair of denim, um, like dark denim shorts, maybe like a week and a half ago, I wanna say. And yeah, that was like, yeah, like about a week and a half ago. So I just went ahead and got him like a light wash denim and then I got him a gray denim and then, oh my, something's missing. Then I got him this one, it's kind of like camel print, but then it has, the uh like dinosaurs and stuff on there got him those three pairs and then i picked him up also um this white little button up shirt which i think is so freaking cute for the summer um springtime like this is a cute little shirt for like vacation as well i love this let me see if the buttons really work i'm not gonna yeah the buttons really work i got this shirt to go with um, the little camel shorts because you know the buttons matches this color. This would be so cute with, um, he actually has dunks that matches this I believe, but this would be so cute with um, like little sandals on, like brown or gray sandals, that would be cute with that. I mean, but that shirt can go with like literally anything. And I did pick him up with this red t-shirt with the pocket on it to go with like a pair of the shorts, mainly because he's, Pretty much in a, he can still fit some of his size four shoes depending on what type of shoe it is, like how the shoe's made. Um, but he's more so in like size fives right now. And all of his size five shoes for some reason are red or have some kind of red color in it. So that's why I got him a red t-shirt because I'm like all of his shoes that he can fit now are all red. So I got him that and then I just got him um, the plain black t-shirt like the red one so picked him up this little romper set here 
um they had this one in like a few different colors but this one was like the more simple one because all the other ones they weren't bright colors but they just weren't anything i liked and then i did pick up everything in a size 24 months if you guys are looking for clothes like send your kids to daycare in if you're like always at the park or like outdoors go and pick up some of this stuff it's because it's so inexpensive some of it is pretty good quality like okay quality for the price and remember i had showed you guys the um romper sets that were somewhat like this but like the long pant ones they still had those as well but they didn't have in like any new colors so i didn't get anything like that and also because i'm just trying to get him short things and this one is actually short if you guys have noticed but yeah so if your child is like in daycare you know you have to always pack them like extra clothes or like leave clothes at daycare just in case they have accidents and they need to change or anything these clothes are perfect for that so i'm so happy i found this stuff for him just to have like for the summer he can play outside get dirty get it stained and i really wouldn't care I last vlogged I think the last time I saw you guys was when Maddox and I were at brunch after brunch we went to Target I don't think I showed you guys that we went to Target but we did if you guys hear that popping sound I'm making um vegan orange chicken right now and it's actually I need to take it out right now but um I don't know how I don't know who got me sick I have like a cold but like not so much as like coughing and sneezing it's more so like my throat is just killing me and i just keep getting headaches i don't know what it is um but i've been feeling like crap so that's just why i haven't been vlogging because i really just wanted to rest because i really don't want to be sick around maddox but like i have no choice don't want to be i'm trying not to be sick because i don't want to be like get maddox sick so i've been taking medicine but since I do nurse him, I can't take medicine like as much as the regular person, pretty much. And I try to just take it when he's asleep, like when I know he's going to sleep. I didn't start feeling this way until after we left from brunch. Like my body just started aching. My back was killing me. We, we went to Target and I was like, oh, we have to get out of here. I just was not feeling good. It's been another few days later. Um, I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel like a little bit better honestly i don't know how this cold came along honestly now that i'm talking and i'm standing here i'm starting to feel really sick again so i clearly i clearly need to go sit back down um but <laughs> i forgot what i was gonna come on here and tell you guys i really just want to come on come back on here and close out the vlog because i've already edited the first like portion of this vlog I've had that edited for days now because I wanted this vlog to either have gone up this Friday or like today, which is Sunday. Clearly it's not because it's Sunday and it's about to be 10 p.m. So the vlog is clearly not going up. Where did I put my phone? So the vlog is clearly not going up. But I'm so happy, I'm starting to feel better. I hope by tomorrow, like I'm just feeling all the way better because we've been in the house. I think I've probably gone outside. I actually we left out because Maddox had um, a doctor's appointment to get his last um, shots. So we went and did that, and actually that's when I had went and picked up these because there was a Target right across the street from his pediatrician office. So we went in when we did that. That's when I got that, and we haven't been back outside again. You guys didn't see that last actual footage. You guys saw us saw of us out before I started feeling sick was. I had, Maddox had a doctor's appointment with a um, orthopedic surgeon because I don't think I've told you guys, but like on the in the palm of his hand, like on his middle finger, I always like there, like right here, like you guys know, there's like a knuckle there. So on his hand, 
it feels like that knuckle moves like it doesn't stay like you can move it around like it moves around so i've noticed that for a while now and you know just like with covid and everything going on it was kind of hard for me to like schedule him an appointment there was even like a period of time where he wasn't able to see his pediatrician because if they had like any if anyone in his pediatrician office had been around anyone with covid or anyone with covid has been to that office they would close down the office like he wasn't able to see his doctor then you guys know for most majority of the time um you weren't even able to take the you wasn't even able to go see your doctor they would do like phone checkups which was like pointless so we finally i finally was able to take him to see an orthopedic doctor surgeon and they were, i forgot what they, the exact name of it is but they said it usually happens on like people's thumbs and she said maddox is the first patient and the youngest patient she's seen with it but with it like on this part of his hand so that it's called the something something cyst so she's saying that's what she thinks it is we've already had an x-ray done on his hand which they said the x-ray looked good but they're going to do a um ultrasound on his hand next um to like have a better look at it and if that's not really showing them anything they said the next step would be an mri but then they would have to put him to sleep to do an mri which i don't want um and she said you know naturally like with cysts if you guys don't know cysts they usually just pop or go away on their own but that in his hand i mean like she knows better than i know i've seen cysts i know what cysts feel like that like in his hand feel it doesn't feel like a cyst but maybe like it's called a cyst, but like, I mean, I don't, I'm not the doctor, you know, she felt it, she looked at it and everything. She said, that's what she believed it is. Even his um, pediatrician told me the same thing and he doesn't like specialize in like hands and feet or anything. Um, so yeah, so I'm just waiting for that. And then um, it doesn't seem to bother him or anything. She asked me if it bothers him. And I'm like, I don't think so because Maddox literally slams his hands down on everything like all day long and it doesn't seem to bother him she said a lot of people their fingers get stuck like if someone has it on their thumb their thumb usually like locks like this and they, it's hard for them to move it i have never noticed him like have any problem with the mobility in his middle finger or anything like that so i don't think it bothers him but she said you know naturally it can go away some people do get it surgically removed because you know in the future it will may possibly bother him or you know who's to know he's a baby he can't speak for himself so I don't, I don't think it bothers him he uses his left hand just as much as he uses his right hand so i don't know as of right now where like i'm gonna go with all that but that's what's going on that's why we were at that um doctor's office i don't think i spoke to you guys in there but that's what we were doing at that doctor's office yeah i just ordered us food like i said i'm still not feeling good enough so i don't want to go out i don't honestly i can't even make it outside the door but i just ordered postmates um so i'm waiting for that to come i just got in a package as well i had ordered some shoes from ego because i think i showed you guys the shoes i had ordered around the time of my birthday um those pink heels which i didn't even wear for my birthday and i also ordered those um that like cream colored chunky boot well one of the like the packaging of the boots like the shoe box literally came like an animal ripped through the box and like yeah so they had ended up giving me store credit because i'm like this is unacceptable like and i've never had um problems wait did i mention from ego yeah so i've never had a problem with like getting any shoes from ego so they gave me um store credit where well, they're gonna give me a refund but i'm like just give me store credit because i'm gonna eventually you know order more shoes or whatever but i noticed like i have i'm sorry if you guys hear the tv i have it down really low but maddox i have i have a box baby for maddox and then the dryer is also on right now as well um <clears throat> but i realized like i don't have any like all the shoes i have in my closet like heels even though we know I don't really go anywhere, so why do I need heels? But um, I don't really have like any like staple heels. Like, I got a um, gold pair. Cause I just recently got a gold, like a goldish color bag. So I'm like, okay, I need gold heels to go with it. So I got these and they um, like strappy um, strap around the ankle like that. And I did get, um, I got all of my heels from Ego in a um, US 9 UK 7. There's a black pair here which I didn't know this was gonna be like a patent leather. I wish it was just like, you know, I didn't want it to be like shiny like that, which like 
no one's gonna really be able to tell when I'm wearing this shoe, but I just would have preferred for it to be like matte black, like the straps, but I'm happy the straps are like this suede material. And so these are strappy as well. And these actually go between the toes. And I also got a nude pair, like I said, I was trying to go with like staples, things that'll go with like everything in my wardrobe. So these are, pretty much all of them I got are strappy, which I didn't realize until after I got them. I'm like, damn, okay. But the good thing about like strappy heels like this is you can tie them up all different ways and you can tie them to where it doesn't look like the straps are this long. So these are like this. And I did get all square toe only because I noticed like to me a more pointy or round toe heel does usually look more classier and dressier. But for me, I feel like a square toe is easier to walk in and your feet usually looks better in a square toe because ladies, you know, when you wear those pointy toe here, those pointy toe heels, I don't care if the shoe is your size, your toes can tend to slightly almost, if it does not hang over the shoe, cause mine does not hang over the shoe, but I don't even like for my toe to even look like it's about to touch the tip of my shoe. I hate that look. So that's why I went and just got all square toe um, heels. And then this one, the heel actually looks like this. So I was like, you know what, let me go and get a colored shoe, plus because it's spring, summertime. So I did just go ahead and get this orange colored heel like this. It looks like that and it has the same heel that the um, nude pair of heels have. And I just thought this would be cute. I can do so much with this. A lot of like color, I can make a whole bunch of color blocking outfits happen with this heel. So yeah, that's what I got from Ego. So I ordered Boiling Crab for some reason. The past like two weeks I've been craving Boiling Crab. So, and I'm like, I don't wanna go and eat at the restaurant and I feel like this. So I found a shrimp, corn on the cob, potatoes, and eggs in there. And then I also got, hey baby, no. Okay, this feels mad cold for him to like, I don't feel like he took a long time to bring it, so why is it so cold? But then I also got a fried shrimp basket and it came with um, the fried shrimp and the french fries. But yeah, I'm gonna eat, so I'm gonna call it a night with you guys. And plus it's kind of late anyways and close out this vlog here. Um, I know I look a total mess from what I look at the beginning of this vlog, but life happens. We get sick sometimes. We all look like crap sometimes. You guys seen me plenty of times like this, but I swore. Well, I didn't swear, but I always say, I'm gonna try not to come on camera with a scarf on my head or a bonnet on my head, but like, I can't help it sometimes. I have a kid, I don't just, he comes first, I tend to him, and then I get myself together. So uh, you guys are gonna see me like this, but I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog.